Welcome in Anime's lovely place. Welcome in Anime's lovely place. Hi dear friends from all over the world, it's Anetta. Welcome in Anime's lovely place. And look who I have here with me today. Steve is playing with his toys and he loves his dino very much. And the Pooh Bear and the Reindeer Regina and the dino is called Dunny. One of my subscribers did say, mentioned it as a name. And today we are also doing the sleeping time. 10 minutes to bed with little dinosaur because it's about the little dinosaur. But I have to change my sweetie also and I don't want to make this video too long. But here you see the lovely little dino from the book. And maybe this one has also a name. It is about the land of Nod. And there are lovely drawings, the drawings in this book. Ten minutes to bed, little dinosaur. But first I have to change you in your pyjama before we can read the story about this lovely little dinosaur. And I'm not sure how this little dinosaur is called. There is the little dinosaur. Rumble. His name is Rumble. So maybe we have to call this little one also Rumble. What do you think, Stevie? Do you like the story? Well, we're going to change you and I will make some pictures and then later on we will read. Bye for now. Well, Koba wanted to join me. So he is here now. Koba. Say hello. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he wanted to join me. So I will show you what clothes I will put on him. Sorry for my doggy. When he is drink some water, he is always doing it like that. I will sh put him in this onesie, best friends forever, and I will put him in this pajamas that came also from Montreal, from. Gerber's newborn with the doggies that is fitting with our dear lovely doggy here and maybe he needs a hat but it's a little bit warm and these socks will match so we will put that on him but I will just make some pictures oh aren't they sweet together You can see I have a little Stevie on my lap and he has had his bottle so I want to read the book for bedtime and he has his lovely little cute down dino toy with him he's enjoying that he wants to hold it yes he really likes it so, so we have to see how this works, if it will not be too long, but let's uh, try. Here is the book, 
10 minutes to that little dinosaur see if you can see it very well too there's the lovely dinosaur that really looks like the one that Stevie has and there is Cole sleeping so we're going to see how this works let me see, sorry in a faraway land across mountains and seas where strange creatures live among tall jungle trees there can often be heard a great echoing roar ten minutes to bed little dinosaur with the three pointed horns and four great big feet a rumble was crashing around in the heat nine minutes to bed don't go far warned his mum there was the mum and there is Rumble but this little dinosaur loved to have fun that's Rumble deep in the jungle a hullabaloo <laughs> he's running after the birds frogs hopped about as birds fluttered and flew there are the frogs Eight minutes to bed. Come to call and loud and strong as Rumble the dinosaur thundered along. There he is going. Splashing about in a warm pool of mud and chasing his tail till he felt with a dot in the mud yes there he is going he knew there were just seven minutes to bed but Rumble preferred an adventure instead do you like it Stevie? <laughs> he is he's watching very careful very good watching me Passing through mountains, he heard a strange sound. The world seemed to tremble from deep underground. He looked to the sky with six minutes to go and saw a volcano beginning to glow. Uh oh, uh oh, and there's another lovely chameleon. Dino rumble. From the sky came a roar, rumble stumbled and ducked. Boom! The volcano began to erupt. Hot lava bumbled, the sky filled with ash. Ash, rocks crumbled and fell to the ground with a crash. There are other dinos running away. From out of the valley poured dinosaurs small, dinosaurs heavy and dinosaurs tall. The ground below shook as they all hurtled past. Five minutes they said, so you'd better run fast. There rumbles going. Yeah, Stevie, five minutes. Then you have to go to bed. As he ran with his heart beating fast in his chest. Rumble finally saw a safe place he could rest. Four minutes to bed, but where am I? I wonder. From high in the sky came a light, loud roar of thunder. Oh no. Poor Rumble. Below a great mountain. Where birds swoop and roar, soar, lay rumble the littlest, little, littlest dinosaur. Three minutes to bed, said a voice from the gloom, and a shadow appeared by the light of the moon.
on four great big feet she bent she bent down to her son Rambo opened his eyes and looked up at his mom two minutes she said you are never alone oh so cute then at last side by side they both plodded back home there they are going so sweet mom and Rambo what a lovely story and beautiful drawings the evening was bathed in a soft silver light on his, and his, as his mum took him up and she kisses him good night one minute to bed that means no more exploring but Rambo so cute Rambo, the chameleon, the frogs was already fast asleep snoring oh. so lovely and the land of nought is in night what a lovely story book really lovely and there are more stories of the land of nought for more bedtime adventures this is the lovely little Rambo reading a book so that was our lovely story for tonight Stevie did you like it? <laughs> I think you did like it we cannot talk yet of course so I hope you did like this video too and I will also add some pictures from some um, hikes we made and things we discovered here in the neighborhood. And uh, I want to wish you a blessed day. Keep your eyes on Jesus. I love you all. Bye for now. warm for your head so um, but your dino also has to sleep in his egg what do you think shall we put him in his egg that he can sleep so he can go in his egg that's so cute he can go in there and he can sleep very well see if I manage with one hand well I have to do that with two hands but you see you can sleep there what do you think is it good we will put you in your bed sleep well good night tomorrow is another adventure Bye-bye.